Hey doing everybody, it's Eddie over here at The Newfie's Life. This is my vlog channel, as you all know, and I'm just hanging out over here putting up random videos about random stuff just for the fun of it, right? Because you know I got my main two channels for music and movie reactions and that kind of stuff, and over here I'm just having a good laugh and having some good fun, right? Just putting up fun videos just to hang out with you guys and just show you some stuff that I'm up to in my real life, you know? Not much since we started, but either way, here we are now. We're going to be checking out what do we got today. My very first, my very first Marvel gear and goods loot crate. Marvel-specific loot crate. Because you're worth it. You've probably seen uh, my welcome package video. I got my welcome loot crate there, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And I put up that video. So if you haven't, you can go check that one out. I'll link it up over here. But um, yeah, so uh, this is the first Marvel one. So now every once every two months, I'm going to be getting a Marvel gear and good loot crate in the mail. So I'm freaking stoked about that. Um, this is an awful small box though for $50 worth of stuff, but we'll see. <clears throat> Before we get into it, one quick thing. I don't know what went on with shipping with this. I ordered this and then I had to wait a while anyways because they only come out every two months. But then once it said it was shipped, it took about 10 days for it to get from the US just over to Canada and they sent it over to Vancouver on the opposite side of Canada than me. Then it took 20 days once it was already in Canada to arrive. It took like 30 days shipping to come from the US to Canada. I have no idea what went on then. I'm not blaming Loot Crate for that. I'm just saying. I don't know what went on with the shipping in that one. But anyways, I'll shut up now, boys. Ready to get into it. I'm freaking stoked. I love Loot Crate. It's like surprise package. You never know what you're going to get. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. All right, slow. Cut it across. Who's ready? Let's just do the grand opening. Hopefully things don't fall out. Oh my god, what do we got? What do we got, everybody? Okay, let's have a look. I'll put it to the side, and we'll pull things out one at a time. What's on the very top? A t-shirt. Who's ready to see what it is? Oh my god. It's the King of Wakanda. Black Panther. What do you guys think of it? They put the red right across his eyes. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, but it's just the word King sideways. Very different, very unique. Uh, you know, you're going to be seeing this in videos, but it's a bit big. Here's the thing with Loot Crate. I ordered an extra large because I've had Loot Crate in the past, a regular Loot Crate, a long time ago. And I used to just, like, my, typically my shirts are medium or large because I'm, you know, kind of a small, skinny guy. But these shrink a lot to the point where I had to, there was about five t-shirts that I had to throw away because they shrunk to the point where I couldn't wear them anymore. So, and those were like larges and stuff. So I started ordering extra larges. So after a few washes, these will shrink down. But anyways, comment down below. Let me know what you think of the King King of Wakanda shirt, boys. Oh my God. How, what do you think of the sequel that movie's gonna be like? I don't know, I'm pretty stoked. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. What's the next thing that pops out on top? Spider-Man standee, black costume. Don't know what this is gonna be. I don't know. Some kind of little statue, I'm guessing. Adult collectible. Not a toy, it says. Not a toy. All right. Let's have a look-see. A little looky-loo. Oh my goodness, it's like a classic... Oh, it's like the classic old um, Fox series animated cartoon. Spider-Man the Animated Cartoon, that's like the logo for it, isn't it? And it got that whole kind of vibe. And the black, look how small it is. Oh my god, I can open up the plastic. Oh, it's got a little stand on the bottom. With a little thing on it, 2021. So it's a new print of something. It's, very, it's pretty small, I have to say it's pretty small, but come on, it's pretty awesome. These are the kind of things I wanted to put into videos in the background, see? You know, I'm gonna put it up there, and then you know, it's gonna, by the time it gets over there, it's gonna be awful small. But you know, either way, what do you think of it? What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Okay, all right, put that to the side. Put that to the side, Eddie. What's the next thing? Oh my God, everybody! <laughs> Looks like an Iron Man wallet. Velcro wallet. People like the Velcro wallets. Ooh, okay, okay, what do we got? 
Stark Industries. Tony Stark's signature over here for the coin part. Oh, this is awesome. I think I'm gonna replace my leather wallet. I've been using a leather wallet forever, for years now. But I think this is it. This is the moment, boys. This is it now. I'm replacing it with the Tony Stark Velcro wallet. I used to use Velcro wallets when I was a little kid. You know, I haven't seen, these were a popular thing, what, back in the like 80s, and then they died off. But I think they're making a comeback. What do you guys think? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, chuck that down there, chuck that down there. And we have a Doctor Strange pin. Every loot crate comes with a pin, so you gotta have a pin. The official gear goods pin. Um, let me get a good, good shine on it. Oh my God. Those lights are killing it. All right. Either way, as you can see, oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Oh, it's like the eye of Agamotto. <laughs> it is, yeah, eye of Agamotto pin. Pretty friggin' cool, pretty friggin' cool. All right, all right, I think that's it, guys. Let's go with that. Thanks for being a looter, a lot more epic than... So that's it, hey? I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. I mean, I like everything that's in it, but these crates are more expensive than the other crates. And do you think this is worth $50 Canadian? The t-shirt and these three things. I don't know. Like, what would you put that at? A couple dollars? You'd put that at like $5 maybe? This thing, maybe 10, because it's like a collectible, of maybe 10 or 15, and then a t-shirt. So I don't know, there wasn't very much on the go in this one, honestly, but I do, I still love it. I still love it. And I'm happy to keep going with the Loot Crate for now. I mean, the box is pretty cool. But um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna keep going with the Loot Crate, Marvel Loot Crate for, um, I'll probably do it for a half a year, a year. We'll see, see how it feels. Um, if I wanna keep doing it, she feels the value is there. But, um, uh, I don't know, I think this one was a little under the $50 mark. You can comment down below, maybe not, because, well, t-shirts are like 20 bucks. Say 20, 30, 35, even if $5 for that, 40 plus tax. So pretty much you're paying for, almost paying for what you get. But then I gotta pay shipping on top of it and all that kind of stuff. So either way, I was kind of happy with what I got. Overall, kind of happy. I love the shirt, love the little figures. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up now, but, yeah, I'm gonna keep going for another year or so with it, and um, I'll go for a year, get like six of them, and then by then I'll, I'll judge it if I wanna keep going or if I wanna switch to something else, because they offer Harry Potter crates, they offer all kinds of, but as you can tell, I'm a Marvel fanboy, right? So, you know, but loving it. Comment down below, let me know what you thought of the things I got. If you got any enjoyment of these kind of videos, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, coming up soon, I'm gonna have a video on some knife throwing, because I got some uh, big throwing knives for Father's Day, so I'm just gonna sort of go out and practice those, and I'll just record a little bit of that for shits and giggles. And also, I bought a 3D printer, so I'm gonna start 3D printing things, especially like Marvel statues, and I'm gonna hand paint them and stuff, so if you wanna see some of that kind of stuff, uh, as I print Marvel statues and paint them, comment down below, let me know if you wanna see that as well. I'll be throwing some of that up on the vlog channel. You guys are freaking awesome. Peace and love as always. Peace, peace, peace. See you in the next one. Take care, bye.